I wish they could bring Pokemon into our own world and have the players be a part of the world too. They could call it Pokemon on the go. Nah, that won't happen anytime soon. <laughs> Maybe playing Pokemon on a screen isn't the best idea. Oh, what's this? Deadly train crash? That's not far from here. Well, I'm sure that's not gonna happen again. At least I hope not. But they're not hiring at the moment. They probably wouldn't even want to hire us anyway, right? Seriously. Probably. We're not even qualified. Ooh, what about this? The sawmill has an opening. How many? Two. One's working with the saws, and the other one is... Uh, how do you feel about scrubbing toilets for a few years? Uh, no. I'm not cleaning toilets as my first job, and neither are you. Oh. Hello? Oh, that's great. Uh, we'll be there in about an hour-ish? Thanks. Bye. Who was that? That was the Johnson's Railroad. The Johnson's Railroad? Why were they calling? They were calling to tell me that my shipment arrived. Why'd you ship it by train? You didn't ship by train. Then why is it at the railroad? Caught a freaking train. A train? Where did you even find a train you could buy? I just took a small loan of $10 million from my dad's inheritance to me. Also, the Johnson's Railroad still had one on loan that they had from the China Railroad. I'm so done with this. Let's just go home. Actually... What now? Well, we have to move the train to the yard where my dad used to work. There's an empty rip track there where we can store it. So I'll meet you there because I have to drive it there. So what, I'll meet you in a half hour. Do you know how to drive one of these things? Uh, well, I've seen enough moves and played enough video games. I can probably figure it out. That gives me great confidence. Don't kill anyone. Let's get going. I'm going to turn the radio on. Now that must have been hot. Now, as always, after the weather portion of our broadcast, we give you the latest news that you need to know. Our top story today is that puppies have been declared the cutest type of dog. And you can now legally have a sleeping donkey in your bathtub after 7 p.m. in Oklahoma. Also, in Oklahoma, the court case against Richard Fillmore was dropped after the family of his victims forgave him for firing them because of false claims he made against the family. Fillmore states, I just really didn't like those guys, but I'm grateful to the family. How could someone forgive someone for doing that? Yeah, really. I mean, he tried to ruin their lives and careers. And he cut off, no problem. No punishment, nothing? And for all we know, he will try to do it again. Let's just hope not. Let's just go home. I'm starving. I want some dinner. Here's a picture of a puppy. And that's another win for me. How? I'm just that good. Oh. Hello? Yeah, he's here. It's for you. Oh. Hello? This is Jack. Hi, this is uh, Ray Vass Railroad calling about your interview with us last week. Well, are we getting hired? It's the railroad. Yes, we would like to hire you for, uh, you look promising. 
But uh, also, we promised your dad that we would hire you. Oh, great. When should we meet? Uh, tomorrow at uh, 5 a.m. Okay. See you then. Bye. So, you want to play another round? Fine, but no glitching. No promises. It's too early for this. Why did we have to get here so early? Just wanted to make sure that we got here on time. But four in the morning? Better earlier than late. Now, where do we wait? What time is it? Uh, let's see. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's only five. I wonder why it's not here yet. I don't care. I'm gonna go sleep. Oh yeah, you do that. I'll probably join you later. I'm up. I'm up. Uh, it was my turn. I spy with my little eye. Uh, what? I'm up. I'm up. Oh. Oh. I'm assuming you're Jax? Uh, yeah, it's Jax, Silent X, but yeah, we're... I'm Jack, and we're ready to start. Uh, we? I think you mean you. We're only hiring you. Uh, we were wanting both of us to be working here, not just me. Well, we are only hiring you. And, as I hope you know, I'm the boss, so I make the final decision. I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't take the job. Uh, we were wanting to work together. Uh, one second. What are you doing? You've always wanted to do this. This is your chance. Logan, it's fine. The plan was for the two of us to work together, and so we will work together. So unless Mr. Boss here is gonna make some sort of agreement that will allow us to work here, I won't be accepting the job. Well, it's your choice if you want the job, and you only. Well, you did say on the phone that the company promised my dad you'd be hiring me. If you put it that way, then here's my solution. I'll hire you both. But if you make one single mistake, and I mean one single mistake, you'll be out faster than you can say sorry. You got yourself a deal. What's our first job? I know, but I'm starting to debate whether I can keep this job. Because I barely know anything about the railroad. Don't worry, I'll try to help you through the basics as much as I can, because I'm still learning a little bit myself, too. Uh, so, what's this do? Wait, no! What'd I do wrong? What? Nothing happened. Here, let me explain. This here? Mm hmm. From pulling that, you've just disconnected all the cars from behind us, which okay. means we'll no longer have anything with us when we leave, uh, which would make our job completely pointless. Okay. So, let me think. Well, let's get going. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the cab which we will hopefully be working in for the next years to come. Okay, one question. Yes. What's with all the signs? Yes, the signs. I put those signs in to tell you what each thing is and how they work since you've never been in a cab and I forget sometimes. I also have some signs over here that tells me which one's the throttle, the brake, and the self-destruct button. What? Nothing, don't worry about it. So this journey will be about a 12-hour drive. All right. Uh, how do you start this thing? First thing, grab that shovel over there. Here's a shovel. It's a note. Hello, boys. We're out of company shovels, so use mine. But be careful not to break or dent it in any way. So should I use this, or? 
I think you'll be fine. Just shovel the coal over there into this hatch. Easy as can be. Okay, whatever you say, bud. Also, remember to keep the hatch open all the way. That way you don't dent the shovel while you're sticking it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not an idiot. I'll get to work at starting her up. Guess we're ready for the long haul. Yep. Shut up. This ain't a movie. You don't have to whistle while you work. Can you whistle something more upbeat, please? Please stop. I don't want to slap you an hour into this 12-hour ride. Whoops. What the flapjacks did you do to that poor shovel? I'm so fired. We can figure this out when we get back. We don't have a shovel. We have something better. And that is? Half a shovel. What? Just do your job. With half a shovel? Yes. Isn't this the boss's shovel? Oh shit. Ooh. I am so fired. Don't worry. We have all the time in the world to figure this out. It's been almost 36 hours and we still don't have an excuse. Well, let's just duck past the boss when we get back and go grab some dinner. We're almost back to the yard anyway. Uh, actually we just entered the yard and we're going way too fast. Ah, mm, my toe. Sorry. Ow. Oops. <laughs> Let's get going. So what are we gonna do about the shovel? Well, I was thinking during our drive over. Did you find a solution? Well, kind of. I was thinking. Hello and welcome to Shake a Steak. May I take your order? Oh, um, I will just have a pop. Okay, uh, flavor? Right, uh, I'll have a rotane spray. Right, um, for you, sir? Uh, Logan? Huh? What would you like to order? Oh. Sir? I'll have a seat, Pat. Thanks. All right, I'll be right back with the drinks. Okay. So, what was that about? What was what? You being out of it and staring. I don't know what you're talking about. You, uh, uh... You like her, don't you? What? No! You do, don't you? Shut up. I didn't say anything. So, you're gonna ask her out. Shut up. We gotta get back to saving me, or my job. Right. Um, right. I, I was gonna suggest um, for me to take the blame. But then he would fire you. No, he won't, because he said if you make a mistake, because he was gonna give me a job anyway to keep a promise, but the deal was if you made a mistake. You sure? Yes. Okay, whatever you say. Here you drinks. Will there be anything else? No. All right. Thanks. Let's drink these and head home. It's been a long two days. Wait, one sec. I forgot the tip. Jerk. It was an honest mistake. Excuse me? Yes? My friend thinks you're beautiful. Really, I couldn't tell. Here's his number if you want to give him a call. He's a good guy, but he doesn't know I'm giving you his number. So, just a heads up. Thanks. 
Well, the boss showed me our schedule this week and we have short shifts, which means we have time to do other fun things. Great. What's playing? You broke my shovel. I have a job for you. What? We're not late. Uh, I'm giving you two required unpaid overtime. You're gonna go take those cars to Squanchville. <sighs> yeah, I know it's a long time. It's about eight hours from here, and I need them there in seven hours, so no rush. Well, let's get moving, Logan. All right, this is going better than I expected. We may even be early. That's great. As long as nothing goes off the rails, we'll be fine. Hey, can you check the map and see where the next switch needs to take us? Uh, it's not here. Didn't the boss give us that map? Yeah, all I know is we need to go east. The station's in that general direction. Oh, whoops. Well, we're currently going northwest. Mostly north, I think. I don't have a compass. I do. What's it say? It says we're basically going west. Oh, darn it. Wait a second. Isn't that the station we passed a half hour ago? I think so. How'd we get turned around? I haven't got a clue. We better get turned around at the next possible place. And let's hope we're not too late. Let's hope. We're an hour late, but we're gonna make it. It's just past that switch. What switch? That one up ahead. It should be flipped to uh, the right. Oh, okay. It looks to be flipped to the left. A rip track. For those of you who don't know what a rip track is, it is a train track that dead ends and is used for storing cars and many other reasons. Hit the brake! Oh, I'm sorry, but we're not going to stop in time. All we can do is save the cargo. Oh, sh Huh. Sounds like they're finally arriving. An hour late, but still arriving. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna unpin the cars from each other as soon as they separate jump. Ready, go. Wait, what? Jump! I'm so screwed. There goes everything. I'm so screwed. Well, it's not that bad. I'm pretty sure we could put it back together before the boss notices. The 
fact that I can move what's left of this train with a shovel means we can't fix it. Well, we better go check in and figure out a way to get rid of this wreck. Have a good life. Who knows? Maybe you'll find a job you can keep. Well, now I've got all the time in the world. Got no job, no money, no girlfriend. Yet? Okay, I deserve that. Well, how do you even get the job anyway? Well, my friend was getting hired, so he got me a job. How did your friend get the job? None of you are even qualified anyway. Well, yes. But Jack's father owned a majority of the company, and when he passed away, all of his shares went to Jack, making Jack... I have to go. What? I'll talk to you later. I have to go get my job back. Jack! <sighs> what? I have... I have a way get my job back. How? Listen closely. So this whole time I've been the owner of this company? I have something to say to this so-called boss. Hey boss, you in there? Yeah, who is it? We need to talk. What, are you gonna beg for your job back? Actually, no. I just found out that I'm actually your boss since my dad owned the company and passed it down to me. So we're here to tell you that you have to give his job back. What are you gonna do, fire me? Well, kind of. Well, he was going to fire you for purposely trying to get me fired, but we decided to forgive you and let you keep your job. Okay, fine, I'll rehire him. Okay, but there's more to it. So first, you now work for me, but you get to keep your current position. Also, you have to give him his job back, same one as he had before, and I'm gonna keep doing the same job I did before. So basically, I'll be working for you while you'll be still working for me. What? Why? Well, for two reasons. First is because I want to keep doing the job that I was doing before, just like my dad did. The second reason is you're better at the business side, so you're going to keep doing the business just like you were doing before. So you'll still be basically making some decisions like you did before, if that's fine with you. Fine. I guess now you'll just have to deal with me. Yeah, sure now. What? Nothing. Welcome to the job. Hey man, good job today, but can you shut down the engine? I got a hot date I gotta get to. Have fun, but not too much fun. Still have to pick me up later today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready for tonight? Yeah. You seem more cheery today. Why not? Jack and I have everything we need.
Well, the train crash didn't work, and I'm out of ideas. I need your help again. It's time we fix my little problem. Well, I might have a solution.